Okay, so this is our diamond crossing. We'll show you without the trains in a minute. So you can see the main line crosses a boat. Sorry, the down line goes across both tracks. We have our up line, suburban line here. So clearly we don't want them to crash. And that's where we want to control the junction. So the idea is that when our system detects the main line, the down line going through here, it stops part of both these lines and and it works in both directions which is important and then also then if our system detects either the suburban or the down or the upline coming into the junction it stops part of that so it's what I call a first come first served um, operation whichever loco reaches or reaches the, the, the is detected coming into the junction it cuts off part of the other two and therefore we don't have crashes okay, here's our diamond or x crossing we have our down line our up line and our suburban line so clearly you can see if a train is in the down line and either the, the suburban or the up line approaches from either side we're going to have a crash and that's what we're trying to avoid. This is our breadboard. We have our Arduino feeding 5 volts in. We have a voltage divider circuit here with the LDR. LDR1, LDR2, they're into the analog um, pins. Digital pin output to 2. Okay, what we have here is our setup for just one track with LDRs here and he here and here. So what we'd have is an LDR on one side of the X junction on one track and an LDR on the other side. And the LED lighting through the relay represents power to an other another track that may be um, our suburban and our upline. So if you like this LDR is on one side of the mainline junction, the downline junction, and this LDR is on the other side. So if the loco approaches, goes into the junction, it means power goes off to the other track, be it up or sub, and if it approaches from the other side, the same thing will happen. And of course, because the loco has got carriages, etc. on it, it'll cover that LDR for the whole of its journey through the through the junction and out of the junction as it as it um, reaches this LDR here. This is our circuit diagram and coding for our one track um, demo video we just showed. We've got our Arduino. These are our LDRs, and they're part of a voltage divider into the analog input one and two. We have our output from Arduino pin two going to the coil of the relay, which switches it as demonstrated in other videos. So what's going on? The voltage divider provides an analog voltage into the analog pins and that can be changed to a number. And I have calibrated my LDRs so that when they're in shade the number read into the analog pins is well under 200 as it happens. When it's in light it's above about 300 maybe 350 but when I shade it with my hand it's about it's under 100. So what happens is let's look at the code. Very straightforward. The setting up the analog pins and then if either LDR1 or LDR2 is less than 200, in other words in shade, digital pin goes too high, switches the relay and turns our power off, otherwise it just stays inactive. This is a simulation of the diamond or X-crossing control I, I want to um, do on the actual track. 
So what have we got? There's our Arduino here. LDR1, LDR2. They are on the down line. LDR3, LDR4. They're on suburban line. And then we have LDR5 and LDR6 on the up line, if you like. So what's going on? Let's see it operating first. So if... What else is going on here? Sorry. These two... LEDs are wired through the normally closed of the relay and they represent power to the suburban and uplines and this green LED it's not wired through a relay represents power and will be later on represents power to the main line so if we have a loker goes over LDR1 it turns off power to the subline and the upline or from the other direction it'll also well other direction it will also turn them off then what we also want to do is, if we get a train going through the suburban line or the up line, we want it to turn off power here at the main line. So, again, should switch it off, switches it off, other direction, same again, same again. Okay, let's go through the circuit board. I've turned off the, the program for the moment so we don't have blinking lights. Okay, we power in from the um, Arduino, 5 volts in here. Our LDRs are all connected to the analog inputs here. Okay, so we've A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. We see from the coding then, if the, whatever, if the disk is less than 200, what it does is we've got disconnected to pin 2. That'll go high, switch the relay, and turn off power through the relay to both the, the suburban line and the up line. In the same way, we have pin three connected here to the power supply to the main line, if you like, which will be done through a relay. And if we get detection here, detection here, LDR3, LDR4, LDR5, LDR6, again, that pin will turn off power. In fact, you'll go low this time and turn off power to the main line. This is our circuit diagram and coding for the three track simulation. Image quality isn't great because I've copy and paste so many times. The setup here of the circuit diagram is not exactly what I've shown you in the video. In the video I have one relay with two sides and I just didn't have a spare relay so I was just running it through an LED and turning that off. So the code is not quite exactly what it would be but you get the picture we're setting up our analog pins similar here with the um, LDR1 and LDR2 turning off power to both the up and suburban lines digit pin too high exactly the same as the previous the, the video before and then if we have detection of a locomotive on the suburban or the up line we turn off power to the main line by this. Now we were turning off, uh, we were turning off a um, an LED, so we went low as opposed to high. So just minor modifications to this um, setup here when we actually implement it on the real train track, which I hope to do soon in the future. Over and out.